for all you mathematicians out there, here's the uh, proof of the quotient rule. I'm going to do this by the definition of derivative. So y prime is the limit as h goes to 0 of, I need that thing with x plus h plugged in, so this is f of x plus h divided by g of x plus h minus, just without the x plus h is just the h's, right? So I'm just the x's, so f of x minus g of x all over h. Right. So, uh, let's just write the Let's write the 1 over h out in front here. Um, and then I've got, let's get a common denominator. So I've got f of x plus h times g of x minus f of x times g of x plus h all over g of x plus h g of x. Okay. Now, like with the product rule, I'm going to uh, do a little magic here and add 0. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over h times. So I've got f of x plus h g of x, and I'm going to subtract f of x times g of x. I'm going to add f of x times g of x. And then I have minus f of x times g of x plus h all over g of x plus h times g of x. And there's parentheses around the whole thing there. All right. Now, give myself a little more room. I notice a g of x can be factored out of this first part here. So I have g of x times f of x plus h minus f of x. So that's just the first two. And then from here, I'm going to factor out an f of x. And I've got, actually, I'm going to factor out a minus f of x. So it's going to make this first one negative, and I'm going to write it over here. It's going to make that one positive, so I'll write it over here. And I still got the denominator. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the 1 over h in. In fact, I'm going to just multiply it times the numerator. Right? So it's going to be times this first one and then this times that. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of g of x times f of x plus h minus f of x times the 1 over h and then minus f of x times, and then we got this stuff here, g of x plus h minus g of x all over h, and then the whole thing here is over g of x plus h minus g, not minus, sorry, times g of x. Okay. Now, maybe you can see what's happening here. As h goes to 0, I've got um, this thing right here, which is the derivative of f. Likewise, I've got this thing right here, which is the derivative of g. And so what we get when we take this limit here is that's not dependent on h, so that's just the g of x. But this turns into f prime of x. This f doesn't depend on h, so it just stays f. And all this stuff is the derivative of g. And then on the bottom, you have the h going to 0. So g of x plus 0 is the same as g of x. And there you've got your g squared on the bottom. And there's the proof of the quotient rule.